really try and get this body right for this year. 2021 health is wealth, right? Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. So today we are talking everyday carry or EDC. Now, if you don't know exactly what that means, there is this community on the internet that is obsessed with talking about what their everyday carry is. So these could be items that you carry with you every single day in your pockets, in your backpack. It could be tech items. It could be knives, watches, all sorts of stuff. But for whatever reason, I found myself really being sucked down this rabbit hole of watching all these types of videos, checking out a bunch of content on this stuff over on Instagram. And last year I did a couple of videos talking about some of the tech side of things, but today I wanted to make an updated video talking about what my actual everyday carry is, the things that are in my pockets or always with me within about five feet. And these are things I use every single day, everything from tech to some other stuff as well. And I figured I'd share it with you guys. So to start things off, let's go with the heart and soul of the everyday carry, which for me is my iPhone. Now I am rocking the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've been rocking with iPhones since the, let's see, the iPhone 3G and then the iPhone 4. That's kind of the time frame when I was actually working at the Apple store. So yes, I'm very loyal to the blue bubble, but yeah, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I actually just recently went on a trip and I was blown away by the cameras on this phone. In fact, I actually found myself reaching more for this phone than my actual Canon EOS R5, which is a very nice and very expensive camera, but just the usability of this, the quality of photos that you can get out of this is just absolutely amazing. And maybe I'll make an entire video on that topic right there. But yeah, other than using the camera, obviously I use this to run everything for my YouTube channel, social media, work stuff. So yeah, my iPhone, whether it be good or bad, this thing never leaves my side. And this thing is an absolute beast. So while we're on the topic of tech, let's talk about what the watch I always have with me is. And that is the Apple Watch Series 4. So I don't have the newest, latest and greatest one. Um, this one is just fine for me. I actually had the very first Apple Watch when it came out. Um, that thing lasted me for like four years. And then when that finally kind of gave out, I picked up the Series 4 and I absolutely love it. So this, I legit have with me at all times. Um, I use this for everything from Siri to remind me to do stuff later, which I am a little forgetful. Some people would definitely back me up with that, but if you've never used reminders on your phone or your Apple Watch before, it is a lifesaver. Hey Siri, remind me in three hours to edit this video. And just like that, in three hours, it's gonna pop up and remind me to edit this video. But other than that, and your typical things that you use a watch for, like telling time, checking the weather, all that kind of stuff, um, I use it a lot for fitness. I track my calories, my calories burned when I'm working out, my heart rate, things like that. So I guess pretty much for the past five years, every single day, I've had an Apple watch on my wrist. And seriously, I love these things and I use it all the time. Now, last piece of tech that's on this list are going to be my AirPods. Now, if you guys have watched any video from me on this channel before, especially anything related to tech, you know that I always find a way to sneak these into the video. And that's because I honestly really love this product and I use them all the time, whether it be for listening to music, to podcasts, to talking on the phone, WebEx calls, whatever it is, I'm using my AirPods. And I personally prefer the regular AirPods. I did just drop a video reviewing the AirPods Max. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, I will link that video. But yeah, the normal AirPods, I use these all the time and I just personally prefer the regular AirPods. The next item on the list which is huge in the whole EDC community is going to be my knife. Now I'm not a huge knife person by any means. I just literally have one knife. I don't have like dozens like some people do but because I am an Amazon addict and I just open a lot of packages and I need one for work I decided to pick up a pretty nice one and it is the Benchmade Bug Out. So like I said I'm not a huge knife person but this one is cool. It's lightweight. Um, I keep it in my pocket and yeah i really like this thing now next thing that i always have with me for obvious reasons are going to be my keys now i personally am very ocd about having a small keychain and not carrying a bunch of keys with me so i don't look like a janitor but i just have the important stuff like house key key fob mail key uh, my f-150 keys and then if you guys are familiar with this little logo um, i'm not even going to say it you guys should probably know what that is 
fly the flag. So yeah, keys, can't live without them, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be looking like a janitor, that's for sure. The next thing up, which is big in the EDC community as well, I guess all this stuff is, so I, I guess I don't need to say that, but it is going to be my wallet. Now this is a Bellroy card sleeve, I believe is what it's called from them, um, but I actually just stumbled upon Bellroy back in I think 2011 when I was in college and I was looking for a nice wallet because I don't know, I feel like that's just like a dude thing. Like who wants to spend like a lot of money on a wallet or like a nice wallet, but I decided to kind of find a brand and Bellroy had a really cool branding. So I found one from them and now it is 2021. So I guess it's been 10 years. Um, this is, is actually just my second wallet in 10 years. So I picked this up like a year and a half ago, but I like this wallet a lot because it's super minimal and I don't carry a lot of stuff with me and I hate carrying cash with me. So I always try not to, but this wallet works great for me. Um, it has a card slot on either of the two sides. So I keep my American Express there, my ID, which I have taped over just for this video. And then it has like this little tab that you pull and it pops out the middle section. And I don't carry a lot with me. Um, I try to keep it pretty minimal, but I have, you know, like my insurance card, my business credit card, a Polaroid. Um, so just kind of the essentials with me. So just a nice little wallet, nothing too crazy here. I bought this tan because I thought it would really kind of like wear in and get darker. It hasn't really, so I might get a darker one eventually. But yeah, if you guys are ever interested, um, Bellroy is a pretty cool brand, not associated with them at all. But yeah, I've been rocking their stuff for, I guess about 10 years now. Now a fun one, especially because I live in Ohio and it is winter right now and it is dry as hell outside. That is going to be my Burt's Bees. Now I always try to have some chapstick with me because nothing is worse than needing chapstick and you can't find one anywhere. So yeah, especially in the winter time here in Ohio, I always have some chapstick near me and Burt's Bees is just what I rock with. So yeah, just a little fun one to add in here that I always have with me. Now the next thing, which is kind of random that I always have with me, but it is actually a Sharpie and more specifically a red Sharpie. I don't know exactly how this started. I think at the studio that I work at, um, I always just would pull the red Sharpies when I had to write things down, but it's just kind of become my thing that I always have a red Sharpie. So my drawer is like filled with red Sharpies, but I use it just to write things down on post-it notes. I use post-it notes a lot, whether it just be reminders or video ideas or brainstorming. And I always have a red Sharpie Sharpie to do it just for whatever reason. So I don't know, you gotta find a couple of things that you know separate you from other people, make you a little unique. And mine is just a red Sharpie. So that kind of sounds lame now I said it out loud, but you know, I'm just gonna keep it in because I don't know, red Sharpie, I'm cool, all right? Now the last item, which is very 2020, but I figured I'd mention it because if you guys are anyone like me, it used to be you check your pockets before you leave the house for your phone, keys, and wallet. But now I check my pockets for phone, keys, wallet, and my mask. Now, personally, I found these masks on Amazon. They come in a pack of 10. They're really, really cheap. Um, I use them for a few days, and then I usually just toss them because I didn't really like using one that was reusable and washing it. They just kind of kept shrinking on me. Um, so I found these because if you're doing anything with heavy breathing or they get gross, whatever, you can just toss them after a few days. Um, so I keep a pack in my truck. I keep a pack at home. And I figured maybe you guys would find it valuable if you want to pick them up for yourself. Um, I will link them down in the description below. But yeah, masks, very 2020. Hopefully we don't need these things too much longer, but I do have it with me every day now. So yeah, guys, that is my everyday carry for 2021 and just the essential items I always have with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you were able to find some value out of this video. Let me know in the comments below what one item is that you guys carry with yourself every single day. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and I'll be responding to everybody down there. But guys, that's gonna be it for me. I actually am gonna get working on my next video right now. I'm just feeling motivated right now. Gotta start out this year strong and I really do appreciate all your guys' support. But guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, will you drop it a thumbs up? That really helps the channel out. If you're new around here, consider hitting that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace, guys.